I'm Charles. I'm 56 years old. I'm 6'1 when I'm fully assembled and weigh about 220 pounds. Today I'm going to talk about going up and down my basement stairs. Uh, now I've done videos about going up and down stairs and even um, some on going up and down the basement stairs. But today I'm going to talk about going upstairs with no feet. Not even my plastic feet. I'm not going to wear any prosthesis at all. Uh, no prosthetic devices today at all. So, um, I am a double amputee. Turn around here. You can see what I'm up to here. I'm below the knee amputee on this side, above the knee amputee on this side, which is the left side. And I have coverings on uh, both legs. I'm going down the basement stairs. They're bare steps. They're no carpeting, anything like that. They're just plain wooden steps that have been painted. Now, over the last 20 years, um, all kinds of things have bounced down these steps, so it's made them kind of rough, and I don't want to get any splinters. That's one of the reasons why I have something on both legs, and I am wearing some wore-out um, wheelchair gloves. I just want to reduce the risk of getting splinters. Alrighty, today's difference. I'm going to go up and down these stairs, just a couple steps, without any prosthesis on. And this is different than my upstairs. Uh, are my first floor going to my second floor, which I've done videos on, in that the handrail is in front of me instead of behind me. These steps are steeper and more narrow, so I have less room to set my hiney on a step when I'm sitting this way. And it's, it is steeper, so the distance from here to here is greater. And also it's open. Here, there's nothing there to block, so I have the opportunity of using that as a handle or you know a handhold where I don't have that upstairs. Okie doke. So what I'm going to do as I move downstairs, I have uh, the handrail in front of me. It's easy to use, uh, easy to grab hold of, so I'm going to use that. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab with this hand, grab the step, hold on. I'm going to use this knee, which has a knee pad on it. I've had a, uh, a PT person tell me uh, if I use knee pads, it would save my knees for the future, and that seemed like a good idea. So I do that all the time when I don't have uh, a leg, a prosthesis on that leg. Okay, I'm going to hold on to this step up here to help keep my balance as I'm moving my weight over and just putting my knee on the next step down. Now my my hiney is still up on this step, my short leg is still up on this step, but I'm just going to move my hand down. Once again, take this hand, I'm going to reach inside and grab, use this as a handle, use this as a handle here to help me keep my balance because it is a lot steeper. I don't want to tip over, don't want to end up rolling down the steps. I'm going to have my hand behind me so you wouldn't be able to see it, but I'm going to grab a hold of it like that. Just move my hand down, move my butt. And once again, now since I have an opening, I'm going to go ahead and hold on to here and help me maintain my balance and uh, be safe. So I'm going to hold on here. I've moved my hand down a little bit here. Just come down on my knee. Once again, my short leg is staying up here. And move it down. Now I can make my way up and down the stairs pretty quickly doing that. And just going up the stairs is essentially the same thing going the other way around. I want to um, move up one step at a time. I'm going to grab a hold of this step and use it as a handle. Grab a hold of the handrail in front of me. Get up on this knee. Get my short leg up on the next step up. Try to get as much as I can up there, my hiney up there, because I want to put as much weight on that step as possible and help uh, keep me from uh, you know, rolling down the steps if I can do that. I'll go ahead and reach up to the next step and grab behind it, use it as a handle, and bring my knee up to the next step. And rinse and repeat. So that's the way I make it up and down my basement steps when I don't have any of my prosthetic legs on.